Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I am sharing another technique card. I think Tuesdays have become Technique Tuesday because I've really been enjoying sharing the technique cards with you and I hope you're enjoying them as much as I am enjoying sharing them. And this card, it opens like this and it's just like a little buckle. It goes right into that little slot there and your sentiments on the inside, but it's really cute. This is Bumblebee, one of our new in colors. I'm going to do the other one in Misty Moonlight, which is another new in color. I um, thought I thought about if maybe I should have stamped the sentiment in maybe Memento Black or something, but I really like coordinating the colors. But on this one, um, it didn't show up quite as well as I would have liked it to. So to this one I'm going to do with the Misty Moonlight. I'm going to use the Knight of Navy. I don't have the coordinating stamp sets yet. I'm waiting. In fact, today I should get my order. I'm waiting for it to come and so I can get all the coordinating stamp sets. By the way, the new catalog is live and you can order from it now. So you can get all these new in colors and all the um, things that I'm using for these cards. You can order now. All right, so that is the card I'm sharing. So let's get started with it. So I'm using, like I said, the Misty Moonlight. This piece is eight and a half by four and a quarter. For the buckle, you need a piece that's two inches by six inches. You do need the six by six 2020, which is this, the 2020, 2022 um, in colors. And I love all these, they go really well together. And you need two pieces of those, and this is two and three quarters by four. And then for the sentiment, you need one piece that's two and a quarter by four. The stamp sets that I'm using. Now you can use whatever you want for the sentiment. I'm using the Forever Fern because I am using the um, the uh, Forever Flourishing dies, which are these right here. I'm using this one for this for the leaves on this this is a gorgeous set and it stamps in like a 3d it is the distinctive stamps that stampin up carries they're gorgeous gorgeous when they're stamped so i'm using the sentiment from this because this is a bundle and you can save 10 percent by getting the bundle so it's to a friend that makes me smile that's going to be the front sentiment and then on the inside i'm using the well said and it says, whatever, whenever, I'm here for you. I've been sending cards to um, a friend that has <laughs> been, have been down on her luck. So um, this is going to be perfect for her. And then I'm going to use the Daisy Lane. I'm using the Medium Daisy. And I'm using the Coordinating Daisy Punch. The other dies that I'm using are, of course, you know, if you follow me, you know I love these. The Tasteful Labels. And I am using this label right here, this large one, and this is for the front of the card. All right, I'm going to use Night of Navy for my ink because I don't have the coordinating Misty Moonlight yet. I was hoping it'd come before I'd, ha I'd film this, but it hasn't yet, so. All right, let's score this. So on the eight and a half inch side, you're going to score it at five and a half. And that's all you're scoring on that one. So this is going to be our card base. And then on the buckle part, we're going to score this at just one inch, and that's it. So not, nothing very difficult. It's, it's a really a nice card and easy, um, easily goes together. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to take our buckle piece right here, and I'm using for this the tailored um, tag punch, but I wanted to just, you don't even have to do this part. You can leave it straight if you don't have this, but I wanted to put a little bit of a decorative edge on it. So I'm going to slide this in here and then we're just going to punch it and then we have a little decorative end there. Now I'm going to take my designer series paper this, and I'm going to add, I'm just going to use some snail for this and I'm going to add on the inside here. 
I'm going to add the adhesive and we're going to attach it to this piece but you want to make sure you have it like centered just eyeball it but try to center it the best you can and then we're going to add adhesive here and then we're going to put this on here so isn't that easy all right so now we're going to Go ahead and I'm going to put the designer series paper on the front. I love this color too. It's such a muted, really pretty color. All right, now I'm going to use the buckle as a guide for where I want to put my classic label punch. So you're going to put this in here. And I pretty much go as far as it'll take me. And then just punch. And then this will slide in here. Just like that. So that's your basic card right there. So now we are ready to stamp. And I already cut this out with the Big Shot, the frame that we're using. Oh, let's go ahead and put our inside piece on. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the inside sentiment with some Knight of Navy. And then we're going to attach this to the inside of the card. I'm always really careful with this Knight of Navy. Sometimes it will smudge if it's still wet so be very careful with that and this goes right here so we got our inside all ready to go and then we're going to go ahead and stamp the front of this to a friend that makes me smile I love the writing on this. It's so, so pretty. And then when you're doing the front part, there is a little bit of a trick here. When you put this on, I'm not going to put it on yet, but you want to make sure that it's on the buckle part and not on here or your card won't open. So I'm going to grab my Whisper White and we are going to stamp and punch out our daisy. Again, I'm just going to use the Knight and Navy, and we just need two of them. Try not to smear this. This is the only one that I'm always worried about it smearing because it stays really wet. I don't know if it's just because of the dark color or what, but... All right, and then I already went ahead and cut out of my pear pizzazz one of these leaves, and we're just going to cut this apart and use it. So I'm going to just use my little snips, and we're just going to start cutting pieces off here. Some of them are attached, so you do have to cut that, but you can use this whole thing if you want. But this is a good way to get a lot of use out of one die, that's for sure. All right, so now let's bring this card back over. And I'm going to put, let's go ahead and attach this. And I'm going to put my adhesive on here. And then we're just going to center it. And then it's not attached to our buckle part. All right, so let's attach some of this. I'm gonna use some wet glue for this. We're gonna use some of our leaves here. I'm gonna use this bigger one. I'm gonna use this on the bottom. Then I'm gonna use a dimensional for our flower. These go together rather quickly. 
we'll put that one there and then we'll put a couple up at the top here. And oops, you can use two different colors. I did use two different colors on the other one. And then we need one more dimensional. Love this color. Night and Navy actually goes really well with it. And then there you have it. I need to move that over just a hair. There we go. All right, so there you have it. Isn't that cute? I love this buckle card. It's really easy and it's so fun to do. Here's the other one. So that's it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. All right, everyone. I hope you all have a blessed day. If you need any supplies, you can go to my blog and shop at dampingwithamore.com. And here's my June Hostess code. Have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye.